133. I am your host, Tom Sanzo. Joining me today is James Cork. Hey, Norman. Hello, everyone else. Hey, James. How are you doing, man? Ah, hang in there, but much better than before, actually. Oh, awesome. <sighs> it's been a I while since... I cannot believe it. Sorry? Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I have been, like, gone for two weeks. I know. Two happy weeks to where everybody could breathe easy and say, oh, there is no Spaniard in this podcast. That's so good. Now they're going to play the podcast and they're be like, no, why? No more Spaniard. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, people do like you, man. Yeah, nah, they, they, they like my art. They don't like me. And even that, sometimes I doubt it. I, I don't think so. Nah. But any, I question it. <laughs> but any two people do like you and now shut up because our next, <laughs> <laughs> uh, next person joining us is Rom. Hello, all you happy people. Hey there, um, how are you doing, man? Slowly, but surely. Could have been worse, but thank God, not. Always look on the bright side of life. Na, na, yep. Na, 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 na. <laughs> so, how are you na, doing, na, man? Na. Like, um, potatoes? Eh, as always, as always. Can't go without them. Awesome, awesome. I like potatoes. You like Got potatoes? a new job. Ate it oh. very much. Oh, yeah, that's, so, that's That's... Okay, good whiplash. <laughs> that is not a cool thing, man. I'm dealing you straight. I earn more drawing ponies than I earn there. Oh my so. god, it's my job. <laughs> yep. What are you working on? I'm, I was forced to become a tailor. Oh. Long story short, it was not my idea. I was tricked. And I'm going to quit in a week. But that's not about... Yeah. Not going to go into that rant. Yeah, so Rom, would you say that you're a swift tailor? Not funny, Norman. Oh my god, Norman, what the hell? <laughs> no, I was thinking of quitting the tailor's job next week, but I'm also now thinking of quitting the show. <laughs> oh god. Was that bad? You know what? Yeah. I need to greet as well. What the hell is that, man? No. So, so you're going to you're gonna cut it short. <laughs> Not you too, Auntie. Okay, what the hell is wrong with you Malaysian people? <laughs> <laughs> aside, aside, aside from the fact, from the fact of you being Malaysian, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Stuff, maybe, probably. I don't know. But anywho, joining us today is Antiquila Pony. What? Oh, hi. Auntie Senpai, now this me. How you doing, man? Oh, I'm doing really good. So, how many followers do you have for now since the last time we talked? <laughs> do you? <laughs> last, since the last time we talked, how many did I say was in the last time? I think about 2K, uh, something like that. 2K, no, it was already 3. Oh, we're 3K. doing that other update. Uh, 3K, he's reaching like 5,000 now? I am 4.2K. 4, 4,261 followers. You're going to get 10,000 before the year ends. Uh, yeah. for sure. You're going at 1,000 followers every week. What the hell? We have somebody who streams, man. No. No. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, uh, your latest update was awesome, man. Potatoes. <laughs> potatoes. Great, Norman. You just hated this podcast. Well done. Yay, potatoes. But anywho, um, let's move on. Like, we, everybody knows everyone, so let's move on. Let's move on. Who and are you? Who are you, people? <laughs> you jerks. Who am I? Let's move Where on am to... I? How did I get here? I like pudding. <laughs> uh, but anywho, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is housekeeping. Housekeeping. Everfree Northwest 2015. Help wanted. Our good friends at Everfree Northwest is looking for help, and here is what they need. Everfree Northwest looking for volunteers. Do you want to help to make Everfree Northwest 2015 the best convention that it can be? Then Everfree Northwest wants you. Volunteer applications for the Pacific Northwest Premier MLP Fan Convention are now open on our websites at everfreenw.com slash volunteer. There are currently many open volunteer positions currently available, such as guest relations, production, public relations, music, writing, logistics, charity, cosplay, electronic gaming, tabletop gaming, and many, many more. View all the open positions with detailed descriptions from over a dozen departments at everfreenw.com slash open dash positions. Don't wait. Apply today. And thank you, Rom. 
So, yeah, every free enough West, they're good guys, they need help. So if you're interested in helping them, links are in the show notes. Click on them, go help them out and help our good friends. They're really awesome people. So with that, let's move on to the next topic. Since this week we don't have any one, no guests. We only have us to banter with. So let's move on to the news. Sorry to disappoint everyone. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that is true. It's not that I didn't try. I tried hard. <laughs> you didn't try hard enough. That is true also. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. Norman, you are old. Move away. Uh-huh. Leave, all, leave to the new generation. No. Anti is your podcast now. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, not with this hard way, man. But anyway. I am not going to follow your orders anymore. I follow Anti. <laughs> what is my beating, thou master? Um, uh, uh... Potatoes. Mm. Potatoes. What? But anywho... <laughs> Make him a potato-shaped suit. Come on. Oh, I'm God. sure you can do it. Uh, but, but anywho... <laughs> Rom, it's your time. Oh, so soon? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Let's let, right. Make sure that you follow the pattern. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Romuald at the NBA Show News Time. And in today's news time, Disney and Hasbro partnered up for Disney Princess. After Hasbro's recent split up with Discovery Communications, Hasbro have just announced that they are partnering up with Disney for their Disney Princess lineup. Does this mean Disney and Hasbro are partnering up? Links can be found in the show notes below. Yay, so this came out of, well, not really nowhere, but suddenly, probably after their recent um, split up with Discovery Communications. So, yeah, um, nothing to worry about, I guess. This is just for the toys. Pony theme level in the next Kingdom Hearts game. Nah, uh, it's not. It's not so much that they are going to partner. They are going to partner up, but only toys wise. Mm-hmm. They're not going to partner when it comes to the TV show. Yeah, that is still going to be aired in the new Discovery Channel channel, the one that used to be the hub. Yep, yep. The channel formerly known as the Hub is now going to be called Discovery Kids and Family. Um, that's next on the news time. True. Yes. That. Spoilers! <laughs> yeah, no, is that you, you have to tell the news completely. I mean, true, true. Well, that's my job. You're supposed to discuss the current news they've read. You're going with the news. Yeah, job. because the current <laughs> news is kind of like inconsequential. What the hell? Uh, it's kind but of like, okay. Yeah, but really they, are, they are partnered up, enough to make the to make the toys, not mm-hmm. to make anything else. Yep, so... true that. True that. But um, who really cares? True. Come on. To add to add things to that. Um, Hasbro has been doing toys for Disney for a while now. Like their Marvel lineup, their what else did they do? I remember just Marvel with the Iron Man's and uh... anything Marvel rela- mm. re- related. And they are also doing uh, well. I because this is kind of Disney now, right? Because they also own Star Wars. Hasbro yeah, yeah, also yeah. does the Star Wars toys. <laughs> they were originally made by Kenner, but now they are moved to Hasbro. Yeah, so I mean, it's no surprise that Disney will ask Hasbro to do this for them because they have, well, a previous relationship with them. So why not, right? It only makes sense. Do you think that this is also what Hasbro has been aiming for when they did the Equestria Girl doll? Mm, well, you have to remember that uh, they are doing that because they see Mattel doing the same with Monster High and Monster High is a big market. So that kind of doll... It does have a lot of acceptance, and if you remember the the, the numbers of last Christmas, mm-hmm. Equestria Girls was the top selling toy for girls. It is obvious that for them, th- there is a lot of business to exploit from that brand. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, um, the whole reason why Hasbro did the whole Equestria Girls thing is just because so they can have a portfolio of yes, we can do dolls too. Well, why wouldn't they? Not yeah, true. Because well, now they have a partnership with Disney Princess. However, you have to remember that the way Disney does their princess toys, it's mm. way different from the way that Hasbro is doing Equestria Girls. Mm, yeah. Like the Disney princesses, they at least they look somewhat proportionate. Equestria Girls, they have the big heads. They, they, are, they are closer to the Monster High mm, than <laughs> to the Disney princess <laughs> true, one. True, true. Hey, do you guys remember uh, way back when Mattel did um, Disney princesses dolls for them too? Yeah, of course. I'm just wondering if it's just me or am I imagining things? Mattel does Barbie, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they did have that. Okay, so it's logical to change partners then. But anywho, um, Andy, what do you think? Uh, I like trains. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no opinion on it? No opinion whatsoever. I don't really 
keep up with the toys at all. And he gets the the suit of um, Austria, and he just becomes completely neutral. I thought yeah. it was Switzerland. I, I take Whatever. no stand in this matter. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Okie dokie dokie, then. Anyway, wrong. We are going to kill you later. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Anyway, next one, Rob. And now for the next news. The Hub Network officially becomes Discovery Family on October 13th. On October 13th, the Hub Network will be rebranded to Discovery Family. All of Hasbro's properties, such as My Little Pony, My Littlest Pet Shop, and Transformers Rescue Bots, will be aired during the daytime. What will this mean for the new channel? Will it still have the same popularity of the old channel? Will it still have the same support? Links can be found in the show notes below. You forgot to add, uh, will Batman escape from the Riddler's trap? <laughs> because you were saying it pretty much like how they were saying it in the in the Adam West Batman show. Uh, coming this summer. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Oh, but, but. So, yeah. But, anywho, yeah, um, it's been announced way back when that um, Hasbro and Discovery are splitting up, so the hub will be no more. And people are wondering, what will this mean for pet shops and the ponies and whatever else. So it looks like um, ponies will be still on the TV. So, But instead of moving to other places, they'll be on Discovery still. So nothing to worry about. The only thing that's going to change is that in the in the mornings is going to be to, uh, po- uh, 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 cartoons, cartoon, cartoons, TV shows for kids, and on the afternoons is going to be more oriented to older audiences. Something like documentaries and um, something for all the family, movies, all that. Nothing bad is going to happen. Okay. Do you think that they will still have some of the other shows, like um, most of the classics rerun that the Hub has been picking up? Like the Batmans and the uh, Happy Days and whatnot. Yeah, they had Batmans. They had Animaniacs as well. They mm-hmm. had. Um, that's different because um, for now they are only talking about uh, about Hasbro and the Hub. If they are going to bring up any of the other classic shows, I have no idea how they are planning on doing that. Yeah, because here's the thing: um, the Hub, the channel only has a few original content and most of the shows are built up by classic shows like Animaniacs, Happy Days, uh, what was there on the TVs? Oof, I forgot. But yeah, it was there. So now that Hub is gone, what will happen to those bought out content? Mm. The name is gone. The content is still there. Let's wait and see. To be perfectly honest, uh, yeah, I know. It kind of sucks that they might not have uh, Animaniacs anymore on TV. Or they are not going to air Batman anymore on TV. Yeah, I know. That sucks. That sucks to anyone. But let's be honest here. We can have that on DVD. True, true. Like, Batman is available on DVD. Animaniacs is available on DVD. Tom and Jerry is available on DVD. All the classic shows are available on DVD. We have to be pragmatic here and focus on the new stuff. Because right now, uh, Studio B, they are working on the fifth season of My Little Pony. That will suck if they suddenly don't have a place to air it. True, true. And it seems that that's not going to happen. Mm, true that, true that. I don't know. I mean, this is going to be one interesting turnover. And also, do you think that people will still support the new changeover? Because... I think one of the reasons why the hub was popular because ponies. That's about yeah. it, really. Yeah. So now when yeah. it's turning over to discover, people are going to flock to whatever channel airs pony. People are going to flock to it. They are going to subscribe to it. They're going to change their subscription package. They're going to make sure that they are TiVo in it or that they are recording it from TV. They are going to support it because they. It, it's not the channel, it's what's on the channel. Uh, there is no loyalty to uh, to a brand. Uh, there is a loyalty to a product. Hmm. If, for example, somebody, a brand that you really like is producing something that you like, and suddenly another brand is produ- producing the same thing and better, you're going to go to the other company. You're going to forget about the other one. Hmm. Okay, true, true that, true that. Yeah, imagine, for example, that... Uh, Okay, Nintendo has Pokemon, okay? Mm -hmm. And then, all of a sudden, Sega releases something that is like Pokemon, but better. Because it's like Pokemon Fusion, Mm -hmm. that allows you to do everything. 
I myself, I I have been a fan of Pokemon for a long time, but I will go to Sega and check that one out because hey, look at that, they have something better than them. It's a loyalty to a product. It doesn't matter what the channel is. Hmm. All right. Fun. That's interesting to know. Anti, what about you? Switzerland. Oh God. <laughs> Um, really, Auntie? I, I am literally the worst person to have on a show because I don't really. <laughs> but you're famous. <laughs> I don't to say Do you not have an? Do you have an opinion on anything? Who's best uh, princess? Potato. <laughs> <laughs> there, you see, you do have an opinion on something, Jojo. Potato. Oh my god! No, I I don't think it's more of a product loyalty kind of thing. I think brand brand loyalty is still there sometimes. Okay. Mm, that is true. That is true. But what makes you think that? Like me and James here, I'm kind of for them. I want to see them succeed. But the only reason why people do enjoy the hub is because of ponies. So will okay. Discovery have the same support or not? As long as there are ponies, people will go to it. Hmm. All right. All right. Nail hit it right on the head. And Rome, what about you, man? What do you think? I don't think this is a good thing. Really? Because okay. I've seen channels been taken down like this before, and it's never a good thing. Take Fox Kids, for okay. example. Before that, then later, it was a really cool channel. So many fun shows to watch. Later, it turned into Jetix. Then it went down to Disney, whatever that uh, channel is. And it mm-hmm. was no longer available in my country, for example. So I don't think it's going to be a whole good thing. Remember that you have your, that you have the internet. I know I have the internet, but if I had the hub and this were to happen, I'd be upset. I'd be concerned because I've seen this stuff happen before. And personal experience, this kind of changes isn't always for the good, but that's my experience. Yeah, but then again, look at what happened with the shows. I know, I know. Maybe this will be a better turn. I pray it will be for, like, the sake of others, you know, because when the channel, when my childhood channels were taken down later in the years, it was, it was, I was upset. I was crying in the corner. (laughs) I was like, yeah, I'm not going to see Batman anymore. Oh, come on. Yeah, I had those moments. So, yeah, maybe this will be different. I hope it will be, you know. But that's my experience, and it was a bad experience. Well, when if, channels were changing. If history has proven something, is that it's cyclical. So Yeah, that is, that is also true. That is also so true. So what happened before with other channels is going to happen with this one. The hub is going to end up disappearing. This is not. It's, it is a small channel. That started with a very tiny lineup of shows. Mm-hmm. And let's be honest, the one that people were not thinking it was going to last more than one season is the one that is keeping the, 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 the channel together. Oh, yeah. That's it's true. like the, the most, the, the most uh, unreliable source of income for Hasbro in later decades. It has become the biggest source of income for Hasbro when it comes to the hub. Mm-hmm. Believe me, it will be it will be way worse, or it will be way more uh, worrying. And even with that, it wouldn't be at all if Disney comes to them and says, "Hey, we want to buy Hasbro," and then they buy Hasbro, and then everyone will be, "Ah, oh, no, Disney has brought Hasbro. They're going to take control of My Little Pony. What's going to happen?" <coughs> Gravity Falls. <laughs> uh, so yeah, what it's it, it, even even if that happens, it's not going to be a change for the bad. Well, let's pray so. Let's pray so. Mm-hmm. It depends, really. Like, for the current status with ponies, it's safe for now because Discovery knows that having ponies on the channel is a cash cow. So, yeah, yep. it's safe to say that nothing will, nothing bad will happen to the ponies for now. Ask the nostalgia critic. Well, yep. <laughs> guys, guys, don't panic. It's a show. Mm. I mean, yeah, My Little Pony will be sit intact. That thing is going. It's rolling big. You've got to be a complete moron to take it down. But my main concern is about the old school shows. That was my main concern. But you yeah. don't have to be concerned about the old school shows because they I are know, available on DVD. I know, yeah. but not everyone can afford DVDs. Yeah, but think about this for a moment. What would you rather do? Pay for a subscription channel that costs, like, I don't know, uh, what, $8 a month mm. for an entire year? That is, at the end of the year, that is like $96. Or would you rather save the money and then buy the DVD set for like $36? Well, it depends. In in the end, in the end, it's the immediacy of things. Is that would you rather watch it right now or would you rather watch it every now and then when it airs on TV? 
Mm, true. Yeah, you know, for me, I'm more concerned of Ponies the show because, well, for now we know that it's on Discovery. But if Discovery says, "Nah, we're not gonna pick it up anymore," where will they show it? You know, it. You know, if they don't, if they don't pick it up anymore, I'm pretty sure that they will be Hasbro will be able to cut a deal with Disney because in my country, Ponies it Mm -hmm. airs on the Disney Channel. Really? No. Yes. Yes. We have ponies on the Disney Channel. And I will tell you, ever since they have been airing in the Disney Channel, ponies have been up to date when it comes to the dubs. Not long ago, they released the season four finale. Wow. And I will tell you, yeah, yeah, that is that is amazing because the first time that we got anything pony-wise in this country, like from season one, was all the way back to the to the beginning of 2012. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like they started airing season one at the beginning of 2012. Oh, my and now we are pretty much up to date with uh, with uh, the U.S. release. Wow. So, James, um, the Pony dubs, are they the same as the originals or have they changed? Uh, what do you mean that they are the same as the original? Well, uh, you said that early on they didn't put it on the Disney Channel, right? Yeah, it was on the Disney Channel. It was on a TV show, you know, a TV channel called Boeing. Boeing. So were they using the same dub or a different dub? They are using the same voice actors for some of the scenes, but they have changed the lineup dramatically. So the main six like, have now, been different then? Yeah, they have different voice actors uh, for the main six. They have different voice actors for the... They have more than one male voice actor for starters. Okay, because <laughs> before before we only had one male voice, uh, voice actor for every single male character in the show. <laughs> So the voice of Discord was the same voice of Big Mac, who was the same voice of Brayburn, <laughs> oh, who God. was the same voice of Caramel, who was the same wow. voice of... Uh, 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 so on and so forth. Fun it fix. was it was a melee. It was a melee. Oh, Fun fix. Start liking them now. <laughs> so, yeah. it is. It has improved a lot. And that's after Disney Channel picked it up. They were like, like oh, guys, you kind of like have to treat this with the amount of respect that these people are giving you their money for Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i think you should hire more than three people to do the voice acting true and ponies are big bucks yeah so they are treating it with the amount of respect that it deserves now Awesome, awesome which is it is an okay amount of respect it could be a lot better but hey it could be a lot worse as well true 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 I, I guess we don't really need to worry about that. So, yeah. Um... I say, you don't have to worry about anything. We're fi- it's fine. It's really fine. It's going to be okay. All right. All right. We'll keep that in mind. Like the Resident Evil text says, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's going to be just fine. Everything's going to be just fine. Indeed. Keep calm and carry on. Also, that's also that too. And so, that's the news. Rom, take us out. I am Romeo Hall with the NBS Show News. Back to you, Norman. Thank you. We have no guests. We have no much topic. So, you know what? I'm going to try something new. Topic time. Oh, no. <gasps> We've done that oh, before. No. We've done this before. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, we did? <laughs> yep. I don't like change. When? <laughs> Way back what when is this? Done. There is something wrong with the show? I don't like change. It's gonna be I know good. That it's gonna cry. be good. It's gonna be good. But anywho, um, way back when I did a special podcast with a few bronies, and that podcast or that episode was called, uh, what was it called again? Equestria Girls. Should we panic? Now Equestria Girls Two is out. So should we panic or not? <laughs> yes, panic, panic! Ah, run away, run away! A spaghetti arm flailing routine start. <laughs> uh, Does but... anyone else want to panic with me? <laughs> no. Uh, but back in the days, I had Pixel Kitty's Alpha Brony, Chef Sandy, and I think Alpine on the show to talk about. This. Oh my God! Really? Yeah. Back in my wow. day. What What happened with the? Wow, the standards, they were so, they, they have lowered so much. Nah, it's everyone... Now you have me. I'm so sorry, Norman. No, everyone is just busy. But no, um, the thing is, back then, they didn't really... They, they were neutral, but it depends on who you're talking to. Uh, we have people who like it or people who, who didn't care that much. So with us, I know you, you know me, we are all friends. So let's take a look, see how things change from that and now. So... Equestria Girls Rainbow Rock is 
out in theaters now if you're American. And for us, we're not since we're not American, we can't see it. So we're in the blind right now. We got no idea what's going to happen. We got no idea how good it is. All we know, the song is awesome. James, your opinion on Equestria Girls? Excited for it or hate it? Um, not hated for starters, uh, because I think nothing deserves to be hated before I watch it. Uh, it's it's the same thing about going to watch a. It, it's literally watching a movie, watching anything that you are waiting for. You don't have to. You shouldn't have preconceived ideas before watching it. So no, I don't hate it. Watch the first movie. I thought it was really good. Um, well, no, okay. Let's let's be honest. I thought it was okay, right. but I really liked it as a guilty pleasure because it did have problems. It had massive problems on it, but I didn't care. It was the characters that I liked in a situation that I am not used to see them in. All That's right. fine. That's okay with me. But okay. I can totally understand why some other people didn't like it. And I can understand why some people are so wary of the sequel. Like, for starters, I had no idea they were even going to make a sequel. <laughs> All right. But hey, I'm pretty sure that Hasbro wasn't expecting the movie <laughs> to make a lot more money in the theater than Battleship. So <laughs> Really? No, it seriously did. When you consider the amount of money that it took, that, that it costed to make the, the the movie, compared to the amount of money that it made in the theaters when it it wasn't even a theater movie, it was going to it's a direct to DVD release. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. True that. I but that. they premiered they premiered it in the theater to like you know special premiere all that, and then they extended the premiere because they were making so much money with it. <laughs> okay. Hasbro was surprised of this, so of course it granted a sequel and. Uh, if the shorts give an indication of anything, is that this movie is taking what made the first movie so unique, which is the musical numbers, and mm-hmm. it's exploiting the hell out of it. <laughs> and I mean, thought, uh, literally exploiting it. Oh, right. the, the, music, the, the, the music numbers that we have seen in the previews are insane from what I have seen. All right, all right, all right. So, Rome, what do you think? Like, did you like the first Equestria Girls, and what do you think of this one? Well, the first Equestria Girls were okay. I liked it. Okay. But didn't see much drama to it as people described. <laughs> as for the second one, I'm looking forward to it because vinyl scratch, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So th- that's going to be fun for you. You got vinyl, finally, doing something. Yep. Octavius My wife in the movie. Octavius <laughs> in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, spoilers. Yeah, she's also there in the movie. Lila's in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that done. And Bonbons in the movie. Oh yeah. So, Anti, what, time, time, what time. about you? Um, did Did you watch the first Equestria Girls? And what do you think about the sequel? Switzerland. No. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> That's it, Anti. No. Continue being like that. I'm going to invade you. <laughs> You're going to invade Switzerland. What the name did to you? <laughs> Yeah. The Spanish are invading. The Spanish are I'm going to invade you, and then I'm going to shake you until you have an opinion. <laughs> no one expects the Spanish. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I watched the first Question Girls, and I really liked it. Really, now, uh, right? Yeah. So, sir. are you hyped for the second one? Uh, I am very, very, very hyped for the second one. More hyped than I was for the first one, really. Hmm. The first one, I did really didn't know what to expect, so I was kind of like, yeah, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> but but now, I, I'm looking at the second one, and I'm like, oh my god, I want to watch this so badly. Because, have you seen how cute Sunset Shimmer is? I know! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! Sh- Shimmer, Shimmer Beaties. It's a new tag on Derpy Buru. Really? Shimmer Beaties. Yeah, yeah, Shimmer <laughs> Beaties. Oh god. Are you serious? It is, you know, I'm not joking. Shimmer Beaties. Why? Because Sunset Shimmer is absolutely adorable. <laughs> awesome. She is adorable in I, 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 the movie, and I just... Oh my oh. god. I, I agree with you on that one, Auntie, is that she is super... How could they go? Uh, how could they make her from being like evil, wretched, horrible? Oh my god, you are such a. That's not a word! To, oh my god, you are the cutest thing on the planet! You know. <laughs> and then there are all those cameos that we mentioned just now that I really, really want to see. Mm. I did see one thing because I went into the spoilers because I don't care. Uh-huh. And it, it, it made me go, oh god, seriously. But not in the bad way. Not in the bad way. And the musical numbers oh. and the songs that they didn't release in the soundtrack. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, that's going to be so good. 
I am really hoping that they don't make it like a full blown uh, theater uh, theater feature. Um, it's just it, it's just going to be in the theaters for a while, and then they're going to take it down, and then just it release, right? Yeah, if I remember right because if I remember right, they said that they're going to show it on the hub on November something like that. No, that's going to be fine. Then. Yeah, but okay. the hub's not going to be on anymore, so <laughs> it could uh, happen. Yeah. <laughs> So let's see. It's let's hold it more. <laughs> so, but for me, um, on my opinion about Equestria Girls is I like it. Uh, it's not the best movie I've seen. It's not the smartest, but it's pretty okay. It's not bad. I enjoyed watching the whole thing, and I've watched it a few times. And I pacing is a problem, but. Overall, I like it. It's not as wretched as what other people have been seeing. It's a toy ploy. Mm-hmm. It's a toy <laughs> ploy put in there for no other reason but to sell a new toy line. Mm-hmm. That's True. something that Hasbro has been doing ever since they, they exist. Mm-hmm. It's a toy ploy. It's already dead on arrival. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not about how much is this movie going to be good. It's about how much of this movie I am going to enjoy and it's worth salvaging. Okay, This is not meant to be an artistic achievement. This is not a movie that is going to win Oscars. This is not a movie that is going to win awards. or is, And it's not going to be a movie that is going to get a glowing positive ratings. Maybe it will be surprised. Maybe it's going to do any of those things or maybe none of them. You just have to remember, it's there to sell toys. True that, true that. Every, yeah. Everything mm. else that it does besides that, that it's the merit of the writers, the merit of the voice actors, the merit of the musicians, the merit of the animators, the merit of those who work really hard to put that thing together. True. You you cannot ditch something and call it that, and say that it sucks without taking into account all the, all the hours that went into making it work. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I am defending the movie when I shouldn't even do that because it's it doesn't need defending. True, true. Yeah, but you know people. And um, to my point, the movie, the first movie, soundtrack-wise, was not the best except for the cafeteria song. It was really catchy. The rest was just meh. Now, for Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks, the soundtrack, oh my goodness, I bought this album for 10 bucks and I am not regretting it at all. Oh, God. I know. So I'm not good, regretting right? it at all. I'm not regretting it at oh all. Oh my, I, I can't stop listening to it. No. NT, track four. Track four. Yeah, track, track four. four. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome, right? Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, for Equestria Girls 2, I won't say I have high hopes, but seeing what they've shown me, looking at the spoilers that are out there, I am excited for it. I am happy. I am going to go in there watch it and be happy as heck because awesome just awesome much excite much excite indeed don't Many hype. even that's wow indeed <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, sound, the soundtrack is out by the way if you have an iTunes account it's out or if go you, it. yeah, go buy, go buy it, it. Go it's buy only 999 it. And if you can't afford it, you can preview it on YouTube. I may not have bought uh, the the uh, actual episodes or the movies at all, but mm-hmm. every single piece of soundtrack that Daniel Ingram has released, I have bought. Indeed, so, same here, same here. If you... I'll... He just released the original Pressure Girl soundtrack. Well, well, how much was it? Seven bucks, so... was it? Uh, I think so. Yeah. But still, I think it was, yeah. yeah. But still, if you want to support uh, Daniel Ingram, there's a way. The soundtrack's there. You and got what, to find a way. <laughs> what Nero is saying right now, he's absolutely right. You have to have high hopes and low expectations. Yeah, true that, true that. So, mm-hmm. with this movie, I have high hopes. My expectation, eh, it's a pony show. You're going to enjoy it either or. They're not going to ship my waifu with shine, um, Sunset Shimmer. Sorry, not Sunset Shimmer, Flash but... Light. Um, Flashlight. Flashlight. Fl- Flashlight. 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 <laughs> yeah, they're not going to ship my waifu with uh, Flash Sentry, so I'm happy about it. 
Spoilers. It doesn't. It doesn't matter if Let's it happens. Play. It doesn't matter if it happens anyway. I know. I'm just trolling. Because because after all, they have explained it. They have said this once and again mm-hmm. until they have gone blue in the face. <laughs> the universe of Equestria Girls doesn't interfere with the universe of the show. Mm-hmm. Like if we were to follow the canon of the comics and the canon of the show, mm-hmm. the canon of the comic books, that is uh, canon B. The canon of the TV show is canon A. This is coming from one of the writers, okay? Is that everything that happens in the comic doesn't necessarily relate to what happens in the show. And anything that happens in the show relates directly to everything that happens in the comics. Mm -hmm. So it's like, if you want to watch the show, that's perfect. And if you want to expand upon what you watch on the show, read the comics. Read the comic books. You are going to, you are going, you have nothing to regret by reading the comics. I guarantee you. But you cannot get a grasp of what everything is about just from reading the comics because you're going to be missing a lot of details. Mm, that is also true. That is also true. Besides, they do mention the Equestria Girls movie in the comics. Mm-hmm. So, but they don't mention it in the show the, uh, for now. So it's not canon. It's what you have to think. It's not canon. Yeah. You don't have to be angry. You can still ship your waifu with your OC. <laughs> there is nothing to worry about. <laughs> Your tw- your twilight your twilight horse butt is going to be fine. <laughs> twilight horse butt, yes, that is true. If anything, of just course, put an alternative universe tag on, and it'll be just fine. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> <laughs> my fanfic, no, no, my fanfic, John. It's oh, stop whining. Just put an alternative universe tag. Oh. And it. This card is not a good guy. He cannot be redeemed. Twilight doesn't have wings. She's not. She's not shipped with flash entry. That brat I think... like. I am going to murder him in my fan fiction, and then I'm gonna have a question daily to feature it because it's so well written and it has such a good rating on oh, fanfiction.net. Wow, James, you you, you, you oh, have a lot of experience God. in this. Have you been writing flash entry kill fi- fanfics? Yes, I have. Wait, no, I haven't. <laughs> <clears throat> so, well, we need. We all need to see the movie then. So, uh, final verdict then. Um, open-minded. Yeah, open-minded. So. Yeah, I think that that will be the one that we can get. Uh, that we can I get out of this. Like we are mm-hmm. all willing to give it a chance. Okay, that is at, true. At least in this in this circle of friends. Mm-hmm. Now, if we could get more people to talk about this, that would be cool. But then again, it's kind of like not many people are willing to talk about it for some reason. And Rom, what about you? Um, you excited for this? Well, not hype, but yeah, I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Andy? I can't forget that it's all toyetic. I, I, toyetic. I am very hyped. I really want to watch it. All right, all so right. Badly. Cool, cool. You have to... If you want to be hyped about the movie, be hyped about the I mean, next Christopher Nolan film, be hyped about the conclusion of The Hobbit. All right. Uh, uh, hell, I am hyped for going to watch the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. What the hell? Why not? But don't don't let the hype blind you from what you from what you're going to see. Yeah. Because then you get upset. Mm-hmm. That's true. But you know, in NT in my case, I'm also hyped. Because from the things I've seen, maybe I have preconceived notions of the movies already. But you know what? I'm going to go for whatever you said, James. Like, before watching Guardians of the Galaxy. I am going to like it. I am going to enjoy it. Even though if it sucks. It's not going to suck. <laughs> I don't care if it's... I don't care if it's going to suck. Because it's not going to suck and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> yep. That's the thing I'm going into. That's that's your attitude. That was my attitude when I went to watch when I watched Power Ponies, when I watched <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy, when when I watched any other movie that has come out. Is that I don't care if the movie is a piece of. That's not a word. It's not going to be a piece of. That's not a word. Because it's going to be a piece of awesome. Oh, yep, that is true. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. That's about it. Um, there's nothing more we can say until we watch it. And here's the best part: uh, if things go to plan. Me, James, Silverquill, and probably Dr. Wolf are going to review it. Oh, wow. Really? Are we going to have Dr. Wolf with us? Yep. Dr. Wolf has shown interest. So if things go as planned, we will review Equestria Girls. Rainbow I need Rocks. to watch it. I'm going to, I'm going to have to watch it first, of course. Also, we have to keep reviewing the comics, Norman. Yep, yep. The Equestria Girls Rainbow Rock is just going to be a bonus. 
Because, yeah, why not, right? <laughs> uh, the review show has been on a hiatus. <laughs> it has. Yeah. Silver Crew's busy. That's the thing. Silver Crew's busy. I don't like doing the reviews without Silver. I I got so used to doing it with them, with him that it's just it's not the same. Yeah. It's but it's not the same. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to change. Ooh, you change something on my review show. I'm gonna kill you. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But anywho, anywho, um, that was Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks. Should we be afraid or should we panic? And I think the verdict is just keep calm and flutter on. So, talking about episode titles, James, I heard that Spain or Europe is going to get the first season one DVD. Yes, finally, Europe, it's going to receive, the at least in the UK, we're going to get the uh, the first yeah. season of My Little Pony on DVD, as a DVD set. Um, they have been releasing the episodes in like individual DVDs with five disjointed episodes that have nothing to do with each other. So, so far they have released like uh, three quarters of season one, but it's on separated DVDs. This is the first time they're going to release them all in a single package in one box set, and it's only season one. But you have to consider it, the, the amount of time that it took for them to get these episodes going, what in the name of what? What took... What took them so long? It's not like they have to translate it to five different languages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, but uh, you know, That's the problem when you go... Because in America, you only have English and that's it. Like, forget you. You don't need anything else. But yeah. when you want to release it in Europe, you have Italian, German, Portuguese, French. You have uh, uh, Spanish. You have English, of course. German? I already said German. Right. So you have to translate it to the five basic, no, the six basic languages of the European Union. Mm. Or else you cannot release it at all. all, right, all and right. you, have to, you have to arrange uh, distribution <laughs> deals. You have to, it's a mess. Yeah. That's why it's taking so long. But it's finally coming and I cannot wait to put my hands on it because oh my god. I like <laughs> to support the official release people. Yeah, that's, that's awesome, cool. man. That's cool. And you know what? Yeah. That's cool. Um, probably you might have some bonus content inside. And finally, man, finally, you are going to get at least a uh, season one complete box set. And I am wondering. Buy... If, Sorry? I am wondering if they are going to um, uh, have audio commentary. Right. Probably from the original English track from season well, the American version. Probably, maybe. But Anti, what about you, man? Hmm? Are you going to buy this? This box set. Yep. Not too sure. Not too sure. sure. We'll see. Hmm. Because well, you're not. Sorry. You better be sure, Andy, or else. What? what? <laughs> you better be sure. Switzerland. 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 That's it. That's it. That's it. Declaration of war. I'm going to invade the. That's f- not a word. All of you. <laughs> but still, uh... I have no opinions. Please don't kill me. <laughs> but still, Andy, um, if you do buy this, you have the region lock system on this because when you go back to Malaysia probably it's going to be NTSC and this is a PAL disc yeah, I, I spend most of my time in the UK anyway so, yeah, so. so you're going to ship you're going to jump ship eh mm-hmm. yeah. bye bye Malaysia <laughs> no what you have to take with you it's a region free DVD mm, true true but anywho that's awesome for you man the DVD's out I, I hope that with this I too have the DVD set here because I also want a full collection I want to support the future release hmm. I might just buy it for you <laughs> oh you're too nice and Ron what about you man well if it'll be available on Amazon of course I'll spend a few dimes on it awesome well I know you can buy the games on Steam so spending what about 22 pounds it's not that expensive right yeah, no, it's pretty affordable, surprisingly. I was expecting it to be like 50 bucks or something, you know, because it's that big. Yeah, right now, it's up for pre-order for £21.50, 50, 50 pennies. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it is. it has a great price. And that's all of season one. That's 26 episodes. That is less than one pound per episode that you're paying right there. Yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've been in England before. Like, I've seen their DVD shops and other shops online and stuff. And the prices for, like, TV shows, like, dear God, seriously? <laughs> and then you have this. Doctor like Who, Doctor Who, in and on itself, for every season is, like, I think, 15 pounds. What? And yeah. that's for, like, 10 episodes. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Wow. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that is a bit. But then again, that's Doctor. It is famous and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, so yeah. this is quite a reasonable price for an entire season. I am very surprised. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is season of a show that is super popular, so you have to be, yeah. you have to, you have to mm-hmm. consider that, take that this into is a really account. Really good deal. Very good deal, I will say. All right. Indeed. All right. So, we are in no way endorsed by Hasbro or any of their subsidiary companies. <laughs> we are doing this just because we like the show. Indeed. Buy some apples. <laughs> no, buy some Disney. <laughs> buy some merchandise. Buy some. Buy some merchandise. Buy some DVDs. Buy some ponies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy some ponies. <laughs> Buy a potato and all your sins will be forgiven. <laughs> wow. Okay. Really? The holy no, potato. No, oh, that's, that's okay because I spent like five euros worth of potatoes the other day. That's awesome. <laughs> that, that means I am completely cured. Yes, I you have, are, my brother. I haven't seen. I'm going to go to heaven. Yes. Yes, salvation uh, for me, damnation for you, suckers. Boo. <laughs> now you're you. going back to hell. Yeah. For rubbing know. something into other people's faces. Oh, God. <laughs> but anywho, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is shout out. And my shout out goes to you guys in the call, James, Rom, and Antti. Thank you for being on. Thank you for being awesome people to talk to. Just. Thank you, man, for just being awesome. Oh, that's fine. That's what I'm paid to do. We only we only do it because of the fifty dollars you give us at the beginning of every show. Worth of potatoes, yeah, mind potatoes. you. Worth of potatoes. Yeah, I know, I know. It kinda sucks. Can I can I like spend it in like food or something else? I don't like potatoes. No, it is food. <laughs> yeah, but I can only have so many potatoes before I am just sick and tired of them. Dude! Potatoes! I'm giving you a wide variety of potatoes, like sweet potatoes, Canadian potatoes. Oh, wait, no, there's no Canadian potatoes, are they? I don't know. But anywho, worth, nope, worth of not. potatoes. <laughs> Everything is a potato. You are a potato. <laughs> Indeed. But You're anywho. Just potato. <laughs> you are a potato too, Rom. <laughs> I know I am. For potato is best princess. Potato is best princess, guys. Luna is a potato. <laughs> Luna is a potato. How uh, are you holding on? Because I'm a potato. 100 points to you if you know the reference. <laughs> but anywho, my second shout-out goes to Puffy Smosh. Uh, she did a really awesome... <laughs> <laughs> surprise, uh, surprise. She did, she did a really awesome fan art for the show. Waifu. And links are in the show notes <laughs> if you want to look at it. It's really cool. Waifu. It's really nice. Waifu. 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 So totally waifu. Uh, waifu. Ship, 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 ship. Norman X Puffy. Uh, Norman, Norman X Puffy. Shush. Hey Norman, what's your Do new it. console? It's called the X Puff. Oh. <laughs> you really Shush, like man. to play with it, don't you? Uh, you saw that little Easter egg I hid in the print I gave him. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was the best. Uh, but anywho, if you're interested in. Looking at the art is in the show notes. Please do. She's an awesome artist. Just plug and play. Oh, God, you. Plug and play. Oh, you. But, anywho, <laughs> James, what about you? Shout outs. Um, I want to give a shout out to myself because I'm perfect and lovely and I don't need anybody else in my life now. Um, I'm going to give a shout out to the people in my stream right now because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be doing this right now. It's just, uh, you guys are the guys who keep me going. And also, those who are not annoyed by me showing up in the show every now and then. Like, I seriously would expect you guys to tell me, oh, no, piss off. And no, no, it's, it's surprisingly welcoming to come back here and go, oh, you guys are the best. You guys are lovely. And um, I want to give a shout-out to... I for, I don't think if I have given him a shout-out before when I came back from Buck, but I'm going to give him a shout-out now. I want to give a shout-out to Fall Silently for the movie's late uh, uh, custom that he made for me. That it's unbelievable, and it's now sitting on my computer desk uh, looking cute and lovely and perfect, as she is. And uh, finally, I want to give a shout-out to all my commissioners because they are the ones that, again, keep me going, this time money-wise, so I can pay the stupid banks and get rid of the debt that is plaguing my country. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 last but not least, I want to give a shout-out to Sketchy Sounds uh, because more often than not, this week he has been trying to lift me up, lift my, my spirits and cheer me up. Uh, because among the reasons why I couldn't show up on the episodes on the podcast before, one of them was that I wasn't feeling on my best spirits. I was feeling very depressed, very sad. And if it wasn't for him and his advice, I'd still be down in the dumps. Awesome, man. Awesome. And so, I'll link people 
to your Tumblr blog with the movie slate done by Fall Silently? Yeah, Fall Silently. Yeah, I'll link them to your Tumblr thingy. Give it a like. <laughs> and do a reblog. And Rom. Leave a comment. Yeah, true that. And Rom, what about you, man? Hi, Mom. <laughs> Again. I hate my new job. <laughs> <laughs> On the bright side, I know how you feel like, Ma. I have more respect for you than I ever had before. Because she's also a tailor. Hmm. And I now know what's it like to be a tailor in a lousy factory. So yeah, I've been there, I've done that. And Andy, what about you? Shout outs. Shout outs to these crazy people who kind of just, I don't know, dragged me into this call for some reason. You guys are awesome. James Senpai, I love you. Please notice me. I am not Uh, your senpai. Oh my (laughs) god, what is wrong with you, you weird Malaysian English guy? (laughs) But you have a senpai. Not your senpai. Get out of my house. Oh, you were hiding under the bed. Oh. <laughs> uh, another shout out, shout out to uh, Switzerland. <laughs> uh, thanks for being neutral. You guys are off. Uh, and Good one job. last shout out to Potatoes. Yay, Potatoes. Yeah. potatoes. Best princess. Yay. Uh, but anywho... <laughs> So, anywho, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbshow at gmail.com. And also, if you'd like us to read your emails, send it there too, because we love reading emails. <laughs> if you have any comments for James, me, Rom, or in any of the guests, do email us. We want to read them, because we like reading emails. <laughs> yeah, con- critics, complaints, whatever you feel fancy. Or fanfics. I love reading fanfics. So if you have a fanfic you want me to read, do it. <laughs> okay. I will read it live on my live stream, for, especially for you. Oh boy. And also, you can reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. SweetieBot. Ah. SweetieBot is going to get mad at this one. I, I, I know it. I know it. She's, 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 she's been goofing around for the past two weeks. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And also, you can reach me at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And recently, what's tickling my fancy is Magic the Gathering. <laughs> ah, do. The new booster packs. You have, fallen, you have fallen. You have fallen to the to the power of the cardboard crack. Oh. <laughs> you know, yesterday I went for the official release of Cards of Takir. I opened the pack, Ooh. and the first thing I did was sniff it. <laughs> you have a problem, Norman. <laughs> Not even I do that. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, it's what? so good. The smell of plastic or whatever yeah, is it yeah, yeah. to high, man. Yeah, I expect Norman to be in the future. My name is Norman. Hi, Norman. It's been <laughs> three weeks since I last opened a Magic the Gathering booster pack. I can't live anymore. Give me one. Give me one. I, need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I 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 need it. Ah. I need it. <laughs> but, but anywho, uh, James, when can they find you? They can find me under their beds, asking them to draw my OC. No, not really. Um, they can find me on uh, James Cork at, on Twitter, although nobody follows me, so forget about that. Uh, but a lot of people follow me on DeviantArt. You can find me there on jamescork.deviantart.com. I am almost about to reach my 2,000 follower mark. Oh, my <laughs> God. I wasn't expecting to reach that many this, this fast. And you can find me on Tumblr. Well, you can find my Ask Pony Tumblr on askmovieslate.tumblr.com where I am about to get 3,000 followers. I am like this close, only a few hundred more, and I will get there. Yay. And Rom, what about you, man? They can find me at RomeoLZ69 on Tumblr, or, uh, excuse me, Twitter, and on Tumblr on reliciousgallery.tumblr.com. Oh, I don't do much things on Twitter, but you can always check my gallery for doodles or do that's or hire me to do a picture for you. If you have the idea but have no talent but still got the money, I'm your man. Awesome, awesome. And, oh, okay if, I and if, we are, if we are on that as well, I am also willing to take commissions starting on November, so keep an eye out for it. If you want something quick, that's me. If you want something really badass, James is your man. True that, true that. And Antti, what about you, man? Me? Yeah, where can they find you? Um, uh, I'm trying to... <laughs> What's your you can find me at um, uh, com. That's where I post most of my paintings and stuff. But on the side, I also run a uh, Tumblr blog. It's not very big. Um, it's called Ask Sunshine and Moonbeams. Not very big, my... 
Don't say anything. Norman wants to edit this later. He doesn't want to get more extra work. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Only just past 4,000 followers. Come on, we can go 5,000, guys. We can go 5,000. <laughs> what was the blog again? I, I didn't catch that. Ask Sunshine and Moonbeams. Yep, yeah, okay. It's a really funny blog. If you like the princesses um, Luna and Celestia, you should go give it a watch. It's really funny. I, I honestly think people just follow me for Luna. <laughs> <laughs> you you still haven't tackled the other one where someone asked Celestia to kill off Luna? <laughs> what would I do? <laughs> God. No, no, no. You know, you know, you, and you, no, no, you should have that. But then reveal that they are playing a video game. <laughs> Haha! I killed you! Ah. Uh. Joke's on you, I still got three more lives. <laughs> uh, but anyway. I killed you, and then, and then Luna will be like, Tia, stop camping on their spawn point. That's not fair. We'll see. We'll see. I've got like 400 ass to go through. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, man. Good luck, man. And also, gotcha. please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. Yes, we have the Facebooks. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLive.com. Links will be provided in the show notes. So, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been James Cork. I am Romeo Wald. Uh, I think I'm Antti. Hi. <laughs> no, you have been Switzerland. Didn't you I have been Switzerland. Me? I have definitely been Switzerland. <laughs> And we'll see you guys next week. Probably with more musical, less musical. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs>
Hope you get an uh, awesome job, man. I hope you get an awesome job. I need a job. I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> I earn more by drawing. Uh, can I say the HS word? No, no. Let's just, let's just say you draw more uh, drawing then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I earn more drawing. That's not a word. Per <laughs> day, then I will freaking. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Sweetie, sweetie, bro. Like that. She's just, I think, just lounging around. Like the yeah, that's fine. Nobody is. So nobody. Anyway, nobody's re- Nobody in this show is ready to understand the power of the. That's Work? That's fine. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I earn more by drawing that per week than I'll do freaking pushing lines, as they call it, per month. So it's not worth my time. The only reason I'm there is because I got tricked by the freaking job center. But I'm going, to tell, I'm going to share something with you when the episode is over, but only okay. when the episode is over. You can edit this out later, normally. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to edit it really hard. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> hard like a... That's not a word! Oh, God. I got the... <laughs> I got the Dave, feeling Dave, Dave. wasn't doing anything productive lately anyway, so I might as well give her some job, you know. You know, it's funny when you look for... That's not a word! ...on Tumblr, the second blog that appears is mine. Oh God, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, I need to do that. It is... That's not a word! ...hilarious. Oh. James, 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 your, your middle name should be Horse, because then it'll be James Horsecork. James Horsecork. Yes. Damn it, man. I like <laughs> it. I like it. I should do that. Oh, well, I also have a catch to it. Okay, let's see now. <laughs> Nothing... Nothing out of reality. Eh, hey, ladies. I'm single. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Spanish. Yeah. I need to exploit the fact that I am as Spanish as Antonio Banderas. That's oh, a way to try and get, and get to hook up with someone. <laughs> I am so alone. I regret Tumblr. Inc- That's not a word. <laughs> <laughs> I regret this decision. <laughs> No, isn't it the second block? Right. It's, it's the second block no, that appears, it's right? Not. It's not. It is not. Oh, my oh. eyes. So, anywho, <laughs> you're that. innocent. Oh god. So, Dude, anywho, been... that's not a word. In the Tumblr engine, oh, I, I dare you. Uh, but anywho, we're still recording, boys. Uh, anywho, um, three. Two, Don't worry, sweetie bot's on the case. Yeah. Sweetie bot is going to be tired after this yep, episode. Yep, yep. She hasn't been doing anything for weeks, man. Don't oh, worry. <laughs> That, that's uh, because I wasn't around. Exactly. Uh, yes. So, yeah, who, Vacation um, time's over, sweetie. <laughs> Norman, you cannot oh, control this. It's out of your control now. <laughs> let it go. Where's the ever in control to begin with? <laughs> oh, <laughs> control is an illusion. You thought exactly. you control, but you didn't. But anywho, three, two, one. So oh, I... come on! <laughs> 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 I was waiting for that. <laughs> I don't know if not through the towel on the NBA show is the first episode of the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I am here to chat, Nick, don't worry. We are recording the episode, so we we some recording. That's why we we're not. This is going to be edited out late. Like, oh, I, oh, I, oh. We should make poopers. Oh, probably. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Please. Three, two, one.